five of these uh, fundamental throws. Um, again, all different kind of versions or variations on the throws. There's many more throws than this 24. Just to give you the basic idea of the throw with a fundamental uh, kick and a strike to a control to make the throw, right? And in some situations where you can make it. Um, this, these will be uh, embracing the spinning, pulling, neck surrounding, and arm lifting. And uh, uh, please understand, uh, Jonathan has been doing this stuff for not a long time. He's gotten a lot better, but he has a long ways to go. Uh, he's never done demonstrations or things like that. So, uh, you know, if it looks rough to you, it does. If, it's, if it doesn't, and you're, you're new to learning this stuff, uh, be encouraged, Jonathan is trying to learn, and uh, maybe it'll help you want to learn too. And realize that not everybody does this stuff perfectly. Uh, a lot of the videos that you watch on martial arts, uh, they edit, them. you know, they, they you know, do it from several times, and they take the best one. And then a lot of videos are like that. And uh, I, I feel like we all make mistakes, and you should see that. And it, and it should, it should, um, it should give you more of what that natural process. So anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is embrace the spinning. And we're going to use that same thing we've been using for this whole thing. It's just a side kick and a back kick. We can do all kind of elaborate setups or different kind of setups. Or we can do these as counters. We can, uh, uh, all kind of versions. Okay? But to me, right off the bat, something from a distance. I get close enough to kick him. I get close enough to, to strike at something. And then from there, I'm trying to get my control or my lock to do my throw. Right? Just a very simple way to, to practice the idea. If you can do that, then you can build it up and make it better. So this embracing spinning, once I do this, just for this simple one, I'm going to try to hook this arm and I'm going to pull me in. But look, I didn't try to go all the way back here. It would be very difficult to do, right? So I'm going to try to get to his side first. I'm going to come here and look, I'm just going to try to squeeze into his side and then from here, Right? I'm, I'm going to keep trying to push at the arm because he's going to try to turn this way or he may try to push back against me, all kind of things, right? Uh, we're not covering all of that in this, we're not detailing off the one throw or anything like that. But, um, you know, if he tries to turn, right, you, you know, you, you're going to have to stay with him, but you can kind of hinge yourself too, right, as he goes to turn. But, uh, you know, I can use that to my advantage. If he tries to push into me, you know, you probably, yeah, like, you have to turn like this, trying to turn in, right? If he tries to turn in, right, you can try to work with it, but a lot of times if they want to try to turn in too hard, you, you turn it into something else, right? So, what, what, it's not what the video is about. We're just going to come here, I'm going to get to the side first, and then as I go to reach down for the knee, I'm going to squat and step myself inside. And look, I'm going to try to keep my head kind of against his arm right now. Uh, so he, he can't create momentum to hit me. He can still kind of move the arm, and that's, you know, it is what it is, but I'm not going to stay here forever, right? I, I'm going to try to use me to kind of push Jonathan to the side a little bit, and I'm going to try to sweep this leg up. And then from here, I'm going to take this leg, and I'm going to step in a steaming stance. At the same time, I'm going to pivot Jonathan. I'm not going to step and then try to turn Jonathan. I'm going to do them at the same time. Right? And he would fall uh, not this way, but over there. Okay? So if Jonathan does it to me, yeah, again, it never going to happen. Right? So, like, this is what I'm getting at. Look, so you look, I'm going to get in here first, so I'm going to turn Jonathan. And then from here, look. I'll use this to my advantage, right? As I, as I drop, I'll try to push me in here, right? I get a, a little deeper. Get this first. But, you know, maybe if he's drunk or something, you can get around here. It's really hard to do, right? But I should be able to at least get here. And then and really from here, I've got all kind of options. Right? I, I could go this way or this way. I could attack the leg from the, the front, the side, the back. You know, etc. He turns in, you could do things. If he turns this way, all of that. But look, I just want to get to here first. And then from here, I'm going to drop my base and I'm going to go for his leg. Right? And look, I keep my head really close because I don't want to be like this 
that John can use momentum with his arm and hit me, right? And then also, too, I'm using the, this part of me to kind of push into Jonathan as I hold Jonathan here, so I put the weight onto the one leg. Okay. He's near. the front right? Like this, right? But I'm going to like this. Okay. He wasn't taking your time. You're not going to be able to. This is not, I mean, if he's like really drunk, or, I don't know, you got super expert timing, he throws the punch and you, ah, you know, you know, it's just that fluid time that you can do it. But most of the time, try to get this, this, this angle first, right? But you give yourself more options. And, and then I, I'm going to push into him, right? As I, I drop and I push to get the left. Each move forward, right? Like, I'm wedging my body into this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Push into me, yeah. right? And as you step, you're going to drop your base, pick up the leg, and keep with it. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right? You keep you get in that tight, right? Use the whole thing, right? So you're pushing with this, you're pinning with this, and you shove this weight over here, right? So it's easy to pick the leg up, right? And then now he's attached to your hip. You would kind of step with this thing and spin, and you're just going to drop. This right in my ass, right? So here, I got this, right? Got in here, and as I go to come, I'm holding it. I don't want to create any momentum here because it can smack me, right? So I kind of step in and kick, right? And then from here, I'm going to push this over. I'll pin this, and step. Embracing a lot of times is just picking the person up. Uh, that's great. Uh, competitions, you know, you want to pick the person up and all that, but uh, on the street, yeah, you might want to pick the guy up and smash him, you know, and you know, like disable him altogether, right? But uh, one, you use a lot of energy. Uh, two, they may be a lot bigger than you. Uh, three, you may lose your, you know, your stability, your footing. Or you know your stability in general, right? And you're gonna fall too. So doing a move like this where you kind of you know step behind and drop it, right? Works great. Um, he doesn't expect it. So he does the move to me. This to the side, and he's spinning me, right? And he's got his head in here, so I can't get this arm out. And he kind of drops the weight, he grabs the leg, and then he's gonna step with this leg, right? And he just dumps it. I do it to Jonathan, come in here, I get the side, I do it, I set on. So the next one is pulling. Uh, so on the, the next three moves, pulling, next riding, and arm lifting. Uh, they can all be done from lifting a leg, uh, striking the leg down, tripping. Uh, but uh, we're going to try to work these. Uh, Jonathan is developing his stability and his balance with some of these moves, and Jonathan's about uh, 60 pounds bigger than me. So um, I'm going to do my best to, to keep my stability as well when I, when I execute them. So the first one, pull it, hit, side kick, back fist, and look, I'm going to pull it on Jonathan's arm. If he tries to get me with this, you know, I can push it through. If I look, I'm going to do a Steven stance, and I'm going to try to put it in the middle, right, and I turn. And as I do the turn, it's when I'm going to lift. Those two feet. No. Just here. Right? If I need to pull this, I will. Right? 
this and look, send it to the other Don't stick your back. So you jam your ankle, your knee. Send it on the other That's the way out. No, just don't stick your weight and push it your knees. And if you won't, you end up jamming your knee or forcing the person to potentially hurt you in the process. So look, here, I'm going to let go of it. It's a step. It's a step. I'm going to go into the arm, release the arm, and kick the leg up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, connect. Deal with this arm, right? When you do your ceiling stance, release it. You're facing this way. Put this leg in further so you've got more stability. Face it this way, right? And then as you lift the leg, you extend this arm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. stand up. Ready? Switch, right? And gives me this. I'm just moving this way, right? Go 
move your feet. Stay where you're going. Okay. All right. So look, come inside. this upper part of the body, same functional stuff. So I'm going to get the arm, it's for me to grab me or whatever, and I'm going to push this under, and I'm going to put underneath, right? And look, at a 45, don't go straight up, right? You go straight up, you cup and you grab your neck. Let's see, look, there's my neck, right? I do it this way, harder for you to grab a neck, right? Uh, all right, so one, two, Here, right? It's still going to live, and I'm going to push the hand down like I'm punching to the ground. Yeah, it comes up. Yeah. It fix this way. In the middle, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, there you go. Right, you look, so you're looking this way. So then as you lift, you push the hand down like you're punching to the ground. Right? And all at the same time. So punch the ground, lift the leg, and turn the torso. Yeah. Now, and like this, you can punch the ground, turn the torso, and lift the leg. Oh. Okay. Right. It's kind of like you. If you do it right, you kind of like lock him out, right? Mm -hmm. This is to the front, this is to the back. Like this, like one motion of it. Now, like this, and then do the other, it won't work out. Like I said, I was breaking it off. Okay, so you're looking at me, your leg is there, punch to the ground, lift the leg, twist. Yeah. Here, here, got the grip, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do with this. And look, I just want to make sure I'm in the middle, right? Okay, so next right step, in the middle, got him here, and then punch to the ground, turn the wrist, to the waist, and lift the leg. All right, ditch me. Looking this way, go to lift the leg, punch to the ground. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Nice job. I like this for all the lives. Kind of fun to do. And, you know, it's, you know, it's easier to get yeah, underneath here. You can do it from the inside leg or the outside leg. It's a good uh, control. Come inside. So the end of this one is the spine. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish these off this week. And uh, if you're watching these, kind of in time. And uh, again, just the fundamental idea of the stuff. And uh, the next challenge we're going to take on is we're going to try to film about four to five dozen combinations. These are combinations that I've collected from my seafood or that I've come up with my own self or, you know, 
or I've seen somebody else do them, whatever. But uh, some are minimum four dozen and as much as five dozen. And uh, I'm going to break them down into probably three to five combos per video. Kind of something like this, right? And uh, we'll try to make a theme from this. So if there's a initial throw and then the, the other throws come off of it, like something like knee seizing with neck mopping kicking, or knee seizing with air leg hooking, or knee seizing with leg blocking, uh, that, kind of, that kind of theme, right? So we anyway, just go through them and do them, and uh, I'll probably do one of these videos a week. So one more of these videos, we'll make it over the next couple of days, and that's out of the way. A couple more sign up videos, uh, actually I think three more. And then just an overview, right? And then we'll kind of start going into more uh, detailed stuff. And if you're watching these videos, you know, uh, uh, think of it like this. Jonathan has uh, been making these videos with me for, I don't know, six weeks now, or something like that, eight weeks, I don't know, something like that, what the hell? No, man. So let's see how good Jonathan can get the next few months, right? Let's see, guys, you know, let's watch his progression to these videos and see if he gets better at his falling and throwing and striking and his kicking. Let's see how good he can get. Let's put him under a little pressure. See if he can make uh, make the movements look better. And uh, I recommend this to all of you. If you're uh, if you're learning stuff, film yourself. If you film yourself, you can see mistakes. That doesn't mean you should beat yourself up. But look at it and go, you know what? I need to correct that. You know, I need to change that. Um, again, none of these videos are very low. You know, low budget, right? I, uh, I don't have the fancy equipment to to, uh, to do a lot of video editing or add music or sound or anything like that, and that's fine. Just basic stuff. But um, if you guess there's mistakes in the these videos. Uh, they can always be better. But I'm not going to sit there and try to make it look perfect to someone that's trying to learn it. If you're already teaching this stuff and you want to critique me, then that's fine too. Um, meaning. I don't care if you think that it looks good or it doesn't look bad or you want to find something to chastise me on. Um, I, I don't have time for that and, and I don't think that most people do either. Uh, most of these videos are, they are for people to uh, be exposed to something. If they really want to learn, they need to come into a class, whether it be with me or somebody else somewhere else and uh, get the refinements and the corrections and, and really learn to watch out like that. But, if you don't have the option of that stuff, you live somewhere where there's not anybody who teaches, watch some of these videos. I'm breaking it down in a simplified enough way that you should be able to get the basic idea of practice with a partner or a couple of partners, or say you teach something else and you want to add a, a throwing art. I'm making it simple enough um, and, you know, that anybody should be able to, to get the main idea. So anyway, thank you for watching the video. Like I said, one more of these, and uh, then uh, you know, stay around on my, my channel, subscribe, and, and uh, see some of the other stuff that we make over the next few months. Thanks for watching.